earn a spot in the Sweet 16 on the line as we are ready to tip it off from the Convocation Center. Missouri State 22-2 on the season. And Bryce Caleb has been their best player. She has their first points. A non-conference win over Maryland, who just destroyed Alabama earlier today. Uh, Maryland putting up 100 in their win over the Crimson Tide. Jen, what was that shot? It was a long two. You know how I feel about long twos. I know you don't mind that, though. You are a <laughs> shooter, but you can appreciate the ball move. For Wright State now has the first four points. Shamari Hale has been very active. She's an excellent athlete. She runs the floor well, but on that possession, she was out of position defensively. Those 18 rebounds, by the way, uh, Missouri State record for an NCAA tournament game, as you might imagine. <laughs> Baker lets the three go, and it is good. That game would have been played on Arkansas's home floor in front of Arkansas's fans, again, in a normal year, as Angel Baker continues to go to work upsets and, and we can see the full craziness and madness of the tournament <laughs> that is so true and wright state taking down arkansas a team from the sec that's a conference they lost and she now has seven to lead the raiders in this one inside go the lady bears to franklin daniel robinson went to a final four with oklahoma jewel lloyd went to a few i believe with notre dame so these are college bas or these are women's basketball players that Coach Mox telling us coming in, I don't really feel like they've gotten that much pub for the kind of season they've had. They're looking to change that with a win and Wright State, well, people are starting to note it. Let's take another look at this Imani Jefferson step back. Whoop, goodbye. Jen, she created like eight feet there in between herself and Sydney Manning. Caleb down the floor to Franklin. That's a good combo. Three-point shot. Haven't seen many of those, but Ellie Refridge, the one to take them and make them for Missouri State. You don't necessarily have to rely on making threes to stay on the floor. So I love that effort from Refridge on both ends of the floor. Six on the shot clock. Baker going to work. Up and in. She can kill you in the mid-range, and she can get right to the basket. Gartner's only made three three-pointers all year. That's a little more of her bread and butter right there. She gets the points in the paint. Who, as you mentioned earlier, Kelly, just put up 100 points in their win over Alabama to get to the Sweet 16. They were held at 72 in the loss to Missouri State way back at the beginning of the season. Another three-point attempt. This one is good for Maya Benhar. Missouri State is doing everything they can to keep the ball out of Angel Baker's hands, be there on the catch, run her off the three-point line, all these different types of things. And I think they told themselves at halftime, defense. Missouri State getting a good look for Abby Jackson, her first point of the game. Personal fouls. Drive to the basket, and one opportunity coming for Missouri State and Bryce Caleb. So both of these teams are attempting to do. Missouri State has been there four times in their storied career. And that's a big three with a hand in the face for Sydney Manning. Just exploded offensively at the end of the first quarter and into the second quarter. We've talked about Missouri State and how they are a defensive-minded team, but hoping for a rematch with Stanford. Tough season and a tough drive right there. Jefferson put the ball on the floor. Stays with it. Missouri State gets it. Ruffridge capitalizes on that offensive rebound. Abby Hip passes it out. Sydney Wilson knocks it down. Lady Bears, do they have a little more to say in quarter number three? Hip has it inside, off the glass and in. The highest play scoring by quarter Ruffridge. of the game so far for Missouri State. That just added to the chip that I think they always play with on their shoulder, not coming out of one of the major conferences as Ruffridge knocks it down. The offense from this Missouri State team 
that has won 18 in a row and went 16 in a row in the Missouri Valley Conference. And Ruffridge is heating up, and the fans are loving, can shoot the basketball. She is on that floor to shoot the ball, and that is exactly what she's doing, providing. Alexis Stover, senior transfer from Ohio. And another triple goes through for Ruffridge. In the NCAA tournament, she's showing you why. Ruffridge is on fire. And this is great news for Missouri State, not just in this game, obviously. Franklin on the bench, able to get a little rest here for Missouri State. That's always important, too, when you can find some rest time for your players as this tournament goes on. Ruffridge, she doesn't need a rest. He bears five threes. Four of those, four for four from the three-point line in this fourth quarter, 12 points for her and, and 18 total. Although she had her moment, she was really important for this team in the first half. 10 points, she has another double-double in the game. Here goes Ruffridge. Those work too. We'll allow it too every now and then, especially in transit. Right here in the Alamo region. Another upset. Yeah, and you have to figure the Oregon Ducks came into this tournament hungry. I mean, think about what was taken away from all of these programs last year. Missouri State gets the chance to taste the Sweet 16 again. It's tears on the side for Wright State, but jubilation for the Missouri State Lady Bears as they move on for a date with the top-seeded Stanford Cardinal.